Okay, I'd like to go over problem 4-111. Uh, in this problem we want to replace the force system by a resultant force and a couple moment at point O. Well the force system over here is four applied or is composed of four applied forces and the a couple moments we want to look at and apply it at the origin. So essentially what we're trying to figure out is what does this support at the origin C in terms of a total force and a total moment that is resulting from the application of these four forces. So the first thing we want to do is draw a representation of the problem. I like to draw these to scale. So we have a 750 Newton force in the negative y direction. You might notice that I put on an x and y axis. Always good practice when you're drawing a um, a figure. And I've taken the 500 Newton force up here, uh, which is directed at a 345 triangle, and broken it up into its positive x component and its positive y components. So what we want to do, as I said, replacing the force system. So here is the force system. And when we can look at it, we're going to have to add up this force and this force for my y component. And this force itself is going to be the x component because what we're going to find is that we have this 200 Newton force is forming a couple. So let's take a look at that. So here's a graphical statement of the problem. Here is the applied force system, and this is what we're looking at. What is the result of that applied force system at the origin? So the first thing we're going to recognize is that the system contains a couple. This just simplifies the calculation. The couple is formed from two 200 Newton forces that are parallel to each other, or their lines of action are parallel, and they have a set distance apart. So the way we calculate the couple is first we look at its set direction of rotation. In this place, it's going to be clockwise, which we define as being negative in our right-handed coordinate system and it has a magnitude of 200 newtons and the distance between them. So here it is, I'm using C for the couple, and here's the counterclockwise direction being positive. The negative sign just comes in because of my designation as being uh, clockwise is negative, and it has 200 newtons times the perpendicular distance gives me a total couple of negative 200 newton meters. And now this force system, this applied force system of two forces forming a couple, have no net translational effect, meaning that if I was going to apply this force, you would have something to a, to a block, you would have something pulling it to the positive x direction and also pulling it to the negative x direction for a no net translational force. So Knowing that, that we can get rid of the two, uh, the 200 pound, the 200 newton forces that are forming the couple, we find that we have just a single force in the x direction, 500 times 3 fifths, which gives me 300 i, and to that we have to add in the y components, which is the y component of the 500 pound, uh, newton force, 500 times 4 fifths, and from that we're subtracting off the negative going y, y force of 750 newtons. That gives me a total result into 300i minus 350j. And of course, we can draw it in as a resultant force, a magnitude, and an angle. And the way we're going to do this is the resultant force comes from, excuse me, um, taking the square root of the sum of the squares. So 300 squared plus 350 squared taking the square root. We get 461 newtons. And we're going to get the angle by taking the arc tangent. So the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. And the opposite side is 350. The adjacent side is 300. So we do that calculation and we come out to 49.4 degrees. Now the next thing we want to do is find the moment produced by the force system. So if you go, if we go back and take a look at the picture, um, which we have here, we have the 750 newton force is going to cause clockwise rotation. The 500 newton force, the 500 times 3 fifths newton force, is also going to cause clockwise rotation negative, and the 500 times 4 fifths newton force is going to cause 
uh, clockwise or positive rotation, and the 200 Newton couple again forms clockwise rotation, so that comes in as negative. So here we have the negative 750 times its moment arm of 1.25, and then to this we're going to add the positive moment uh, from the y um, component of the 500 Newton force that's acting at a distance of 2.5 meters. And finally, we have to subtract off the x component of the 500 Newton force at its moment arm of 1 meter. And to that moment, we have to add in the 200 Newton meter couple. And this produces a total moment around 0, 0.0 to be minus 237.5 Newton meters. And what we have now is we have the answer where we've taken this equivalent force couple or this equivalent loading um, of the original system and we've now changed it into a resultant force of 461 newtons acting at below the x-axis or clockwise from the x-axis at 49.4 degrees and we have a couple or a moment whichever way you want to say it of 237.5 Newton meters, and I'm drawing it here as positive, and I'm showing the arrow as being a clockwise arrow, uh, so it's m somewhat easier to interpret on the diagram. And this force system is what the support at point O is going to see or feel. And that concludes this problem.